Hi, Scott Reschke, uh, CEO, Lead Game Designer for Strength in Numbers Studios. Scott, what are you showing here at GDC? What are we doing here? Uh, we're showing off Kate Must Die. It is a jump scare horror puzzle game, focusing more on the horror puzzle part than the jump scare. We wanted to make something that was really difficult to beat, kind of looking at the trend of seeing how really difficult games have gotten popularity instead of the stuff that just plays itself. But we wanted to make it really unforgiving and punishing, kind of like Dark Souls. You make a mistake, you're dead. And for this, the jump scare part is the punishment for failure. Talk about some of the puzzles. How, does the, how do the puzzles work in this horror game? Uh, well, what it is is each level has a different objective that you have to complete. I didn't want to just explain it of, oh, hey, go do this, and then everything plays itself. Through the clues that we live, leave in each level, you've got uh, notes that you can pick up, things that are left on the walls. We've put, uh, industry jargon, static meshes to give you examples of what it's supposed to be that you've done. So you see models or things that are in the game. And that's how we've shown, as well as through cutscenes, what you're supposed to do. You have to kind of pay attention to everything that's going on in the level, and then you'll figure out, oh, okay, well, this is the thing I'm supposed to do. From there, then, we've thrown like a timer in to not just allow somebody to wander around and accidentally finish the game. So it's figure out what you're supposed to do, read, pick up, play, test, explore, try not to die. And so a lot of the fun has been watching a lot of people play it over and over and over again. They get hooked on it. They're like, okay, I figured this out. I got this now. But then I was just killed again. So I'm going to try, and 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 we watch. And the average time to beat just the first level is about an hour and a half for new players. Whereas once you figure it out, it's about two minutes to complete. And so, so I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry, so, it's, uh, so it's, I mean, it's fun. It's addicting because like the controls are very simple. You don't get to fight back. You just get to try to survive. And so you do a little better each time and until you win. Can you talk about your protagonist, uh, Kate, a little bit? Um, well, she's a character from one of our first games that we hadn't, that hasn't gotten out of early access yet that we're still working on. Um, she is a cyberpunk psionic hero that is trapped in this murder dungeon uh, trying to escape or get to the next level. She's, uh, the person she's fighting against is called Analinia. Analinia used like psychoses and insanity to drive her, her opponents crazy and kill them. And Kate, which is short for Catherine, she is gaining her powers back a little bit at a time while trying to figure out how to get to the next one, how to get to the next, how to, how to survive. Can you talk about the different biomes? I'm seeing like some caverns and some mushrooms that your player is dispersing. Yeah, I mean, that's a tricky one. Trying to stay cyberpunk and go like sci-fi magic. We tried to figure out, all right, well, you know, mushrooms and psychoses and hallucinating kind of works with the theme that we've set together. So we had already had this sewer map set up for our multiplayer arena. And we're like, this would work really well if we move it over, change the lighting up, make it a little bit more moody. And so we decided, all right, to give her her powers back. The first one, you pick up glowing mushrooms, this, which lets her have a light orb she can cast out. The second one, you absorb blood. The third one, you absorb these energized skulls, staying true to like the horror theme, but also letting us play with different things when it comes to like cyberpunk magic. What are some of the challenges in making a survival horror game in 2018? Ah, uh, God, that is a fantastic question. Um, exposure is the biggest challenge making any game in 2018. For us, uh, horror, we had a few publishers say, man, that's so hard to get into. People either love it or they don't. But realistically, that's any game. They either love it or they don't. So for us, it was, I had done a bit of market research, and I found a lot of people are really into really hard games. And horror has a niche that... You, you know, you don't need a lot of people to make a successful company or a lot of customers. And so it was like, this was just naturally, horror gamers love horror games. And so it was, okay, so if we just slide into that and we do it right, we should be okay to survive. And so horror, it has to be hard, it has to be scary. And that's kind of where we try to nail it with this one. Talk about working with Unreal Engine and what they provided in terms of tech and support to help make your game reality. Well, Unreal, this, we're using version 4.18.3. Um, almost the entire game is built in their Blueprint system, which has been fantastic because it allowed us to port it over to the Nintendo Switch almost seamlessly, as well as we're looking at the difficulty of going to other platforms like the Xbox One or the PlayStation it is ridiculously easy if you're using their Blueprint system. So we actually haven't had to use too much of their tech support because 
once you actually get approved for those platforms, almost every challenge that you're going to have is already laid out in their back-end system. So it has been very smooth, very seamless. Um, you know, dealing with Unreal, it's not a dealing with, they've just been really great to talk to and anything we've had questions with, it's been typically pretty quick turn time to hear back. So uh, the beauty of it is we haven't really need to lean on them much because they've already got it set up so easily that we haven't we haven't really run into any problems. So when does the game come out and what platforms will it be on? On PC, April 5th is when we're going to be launching that. Um, and then Nintendo Switch, ideally within a couple of weeks after that, we've just got to make sure that the package that we upload to Nintendo meets all their QA, QC. So where, can people go, where can people go to find more information about your game? KateMustDie.com. Um, you can go to Steam. We have a full free first, uh, first level of the demos available. K-A-E-T, Must Die. And the Steam kind of hides the download demo button, but it's there. Um, otherwise, yeah, KateMustDie.com, our Facebook, which is uh, facebook.com slash sinstudios for strength and numbers studios.